Hi guys, if it's Tuesday, it's Dan and Dirty Woods Craft. Stay with me. Okay, today guys, we're going to talk about one of them little techniques around the fire that makes you look good. Alright, let us discuss about how to heat food, how to keep food heated, and how to serve and present food. Okay? Even how to bake around the fire. One of the little tricks that I learned early on from the old woodsman that I knew was a thing they called a, a lazy or a lean. And uh, it was a place to put a pot and pan and also how to heat a pan. So let's talk about this. Okay, let's second. say you've got a cook kit. And this just happens to be an old Boy Scout cook kit that's the old 1920 steel pot, pot type. And let's say you've got a small skillet. And you want to be able to do a lot of things with that skillet. Well, one of the things that I enjoy doing with my skillet is cooking and baking and doing stuff like that. So, initially, let's just talk about a pan. All right. Our metal, and we're talking only metal here, guys. We're not talking about the modern plastics, nylons, wonder whiz bang, whatever. We're talking about metal, okay? Metal cook pans are great to take disadvantage when they're hot they transfer heat very fast to the outside of it so you fill this thing up full of boiling hot stew you can't hardly hold the bottom of it it gets so hot so now you got to put some sort of padding onto it to hold it but let's say it's a really cold day and you've spent the last 45 minutes trying to prepare this meal and it's cold and it's bitter and i'm needing this heat in me you don't want to dip it out of the pot and put it into an ice cold pan Heat the pan up. So a trick we used to do to heat up pans was make a lazy. And let me show you that okay, right now. Okay, first off, here's my fire to your front. I'm going to get me a piece of wood that's not necessarily prime choice firewood, but something that's not going to matter, okay? And I'm going to put it close enough to fire that it gets really warm. Now, directly behind it, I'm going to take a stick... I'm going to put, sharpen it up and put it into the ground. Just like that. Now in front of it, closely spaced, I'm going to take two sticks and I'm going to put them into the ground. Just like this. Now, I take my pan and I so can now I've got it. a place I can sit it. Forward or back, it doesn't matter. And the heat of the fire is going to heat up my pan. So now this pan will be nice and warm, not scalding hot, but warm on that cold day. So when I pick it up and I dip my food up into it, the pan is warm. And therefore I do not lose heat. But what else can this configuration right here do? Let me show you that right quick. Into my frying pan, I'm going to take into my frying pan I'm going to take and put my bread cornbread biscuit whatever and I'm going to take it and initially put it on the fire to lightly fry the bottom and kind of dry it out kind of make it stick a little bit to that pan once it's stuck to the pan then I come up here and I do this and I prop it up see I can rotate it in position so that the heat is evenly distributed. The heat coming off fire, why I'm using something so tall is the heat at ground level is almost nothing. You come up a couple inches, you're getting more of the radiant heat. So here the heat is coming directly into it. If I'm getting a hot spot here in the front, I rotate it. Now that hot spot's up here farther away, and this as it was farther away is now getting the heat. I can adjust it a little bit however I need to just by rotating it and binding it between those three sticks. That is a quick way to make bannock. So, I put my pre-made up biscuit dough or whatever, cornbread, into my pan. And I put it over there on a low fire and I move it around a little bit. Like you do popcorn kind of thing. I want it to get hot enough and dry enough that it bakes on the bottom but doesn't burn. So I don't want it in contact with direct heat very long. And after, say, 
five or ten minutes of doing that, it'll become kind of stuck to the pan. That's what I want. Then I can tip it up in that rig and rotate it back and forth to be able to bake. That way I can make bannocks, I can bake cornbread, that instant add water cornbread, stuff like that. I can bake it this way without a Dutch oven. Another little trick, like I said, about setting a pan up there and angling it in that rig to let it heat up. That was what we used to call lazy. Because we would have one right next to the, you know, you know, you make your, your classic fire irons for your crossbar to be able to hang stuff on. Over here on the left side or on the right side, one of them lazies would be made up. And that's where the pan went. That's when you were heating it up to make bread. That's where I'm heating up my dinner plate. That's where I'm keeping the coffee pot warm. I'd sit it on top of that and rotate it every so often. That became the lazy. It's right there. Quick and easy. Now, one last tip for keeping your meals warm. It's a cold day. I do not have the, the time to do that lazy or whatever. I'm heating this up, but I've got a fire going, and I have two containers. Here's an old trick I've done on some bitter cold nights to try to keep my food warm. Because you know what it is. It comes off of the fire and it is hot. Man, it, you just, you know, you're blowing on it trying to eat it. And by the time you get five or ten mouthfuls, it's cold. Because that heat is being lost into that pan. And it's just sucking all the heat right out of the food. And by the time it's cool enough to eat, you're halfway through your meal and your food's cold. Because of the ambient air temperature. Well, here's an old trick. I would scrape back my fire and I'd take another container and I'd shovel some hot sand into the second container. When I brought my food off the fire, I sat it on that hot sand. Now I'd have to have some sort of towel or some sort of pad on this to be sitting it on something. Sometimes I've raked it in here and then take a pair of pliers and take and sit it onto a stump or something I'm gonna eat off of. And then I would put my food up there. Just like when you go to the Mexican restaurant and they bring the hot plate, and they warn you the plate's hot, don't touch it. Same idea, I'd have a hot plate to eat off of. By the time I got done eating, it was still warm and toasty. Little tricks, little cheats make your life so much better. Hope you enjoyed this, guys. Please leave any questions below. And as always, thank you for supporting my channel. I'm Blackie, wishing you safe journeys. Stay healthy, guys. Have a great day.